Good morning, good morning. Why do you do what you do? <laughs> That's a topic for the morning. And uh, we're a little bit of a change up, you'll notice. Uh, it doesn't look like I'm inside a building today. I'm actually on the beautiful shore uh, on my island of Bainbridge Island. You're looking out on Agate Passage and Port Orchard and the Olympic Mountains, if you can see them. Yes, I'm super excited. In the rec room of Heroic Fatherhood, we're in, in the background creating a new product for mindset and productivity, creating something with busy dads in mind. Um, we're actually looking for some busy dads uh, who uh, would love to share with us their feedback on our program. So a couple things about that. If, uh, if you have a busy dad who's feeling a little overwhelmed and would like to help us build a program that makes a difference for dads across the country and across the world, have them uh, reach out to me here at Heroic Fatherhood. Um, and if you want to be kept up to date, if you want to be kept up to date uh, on the product's launch, you can go to uh, heroicfatherhood.com forward slash own your morning. And you can sign up to be notified as uh, things come together and you'll get updates. And you'll get early access to the program, which is kind of exciting. And lastly, I got a great question from a first time caller, Heidi, who said, hey, you know, I like this every day, but you're having me go over to Heroic Fatherhood Facebook page. Um, am I supposed to be over there? Because, uh, you know, I'm not a dad. And I said, you know what, absolutely. So here's my thing. If you think that this work has any value for you, I desperately want you to come over and just come be a part of it. Absolutely. Um, I create programs for dads, and those programs are, you know, if I'm going to do a private group, it will definitely be for dads only, and it'll also be clear. But I would love to have you come over to the Heroic Fatherhood Facebook page and like it over there so you can stay up to date on this. Why do you do what you do? You'll notice I'm not in my office today. Hey, what's up with that? Well, it's part of the why I do what I do. It really occurred to me last night that um, uh, I had to break up what I was doing. It was, I, was, I was sitting there and I was like, hey man, you know, like this has been really great. It's been an incredibly productive week. But I feel like there's a missing. I feel like there's a missing. And when I usually feel like there's a missing, I start to get curious. Like, what's, like, what's up that, that this is what I got going on, that it feels like there's something missing? And when I did, and when I did start uh, taking a look, what I realized was, oh, 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 you're like, it's easy to get lost in the doing of the work and forgetting why you're here. And part of why I do what I do is to have the freedom actually not from work from an office every day if I don't want to, uh, which is just a gift unto itself. So today I really want to talk about the why we do what we do. There are people in this feed, there are people in our lives who are taking on huge things. They're taking on big changes in their life uh, or their circumstances are changing and they're feeling challenged in ways that they never have before. And it's incredibly important that we start getting eyes on the prize of why we do what we do. Because otherwise, life just becomes like ditch digging every day. Like, what's the why you do what you do? Famous uh, TED Talk by a guy named Simon Sinek. If you haven't watched it, unbelievable. He makes his entire living about finding your why. Uh, I'm completely unconnected to him other than I'm inspired by him. Why do you do what you do? What's that thing that gets you out of bed? What's that thing that you're going for? Now, here's the beautiful part for me. Part of the why I do what I do is to be able to have this, is to have access to this, access to nature, access to be able to take my family and take my kids uh, and be out in nature. Uh, another, another reason is, is to be able to live in a small community, feel like I'm connected, feel like I'm uh, you know, part of something bigger. So that's part of the why I do what I do. And it's incredibly important that I get in touch with that every now and then just to remind myself why we're doing the work. Why are we doing the work? Why are we investing what we're investing? Why are we willing to go through the turmoil, the, the struggle, the, the work? Because there's going to be turmoil, struggle, and work in life no matter what. Nobody gets off easy. But the best part is if you're willing to do the turmoil, struggle, and work to get to something, it makes it all worthwhile. Now, for some people, the what they're building, they can't physically see yet. Like, I get to see this beach. I get to see where I live every day. And so that's a real gift, and I don't want to take that for granted. But there's some people who are working on goals that they can't see yet, whether that's a business goal around 
around uh, creating a business, whether that's a health and fitness goal, whether that's a relationship goal, whether that's, or, or you know, like maybe you want to move from wherever you're moving. And you can't physically get there to go see it. But we do have to remind ourselves. Sometimes it's a picture. Sometimes it's a vision board. Um, Tony Robbins uh, does a great thing that I've taken on, which I think was just, it's just brilliant. He just takes a few minutes every day and he quietly sits and he thinks about all the projects he's working on and he imagines that they're complete already. He imagines that all the big plans he has in his life and in his business are already complete. And he imagines what that's going to feel like when they're done. And he imagines standing on the, on the, you know, on the landing pad of creating all the things that he has visions for. And it brings this huge feeling of gratitude and satisfaction and fulfillment to it. And he sits there with that. And when you do that, you open your eyes and you realize that you're living in the present feeling moment of having delivered that thing that isn't delivered yet. And at first that may seem a little hollow, but what I notice is when I practice it is all of a sudden I get the feeling that I, I, it's not just an all of a sudden I get the feeling, but it's that feeling sticks with me all day and it actually guides me. See, the bottom line is, is when you get that goal, is it going to be, is going to be uh, different than it is today because circumstances will change, but it's not going to be different from today because you're still having a human experience. So you're still going to be a human being. So if we can't uh, get in touch with the why we're doing what we do, we're going to just be digging trenches until we get there. And then we're going to be looking for the next thing that we're digging trenches to when we get there, right? Like it's just going to be one trench after another. And we want to make sure that you guys are getting in touch with the stuff that you're up to because you're up to big stuff. So why do you do what you do? If you haven't taken a look at Simon Sinek's work, uh, Finding Your Why, uh, that's just incredible work. Uh, and I am just so grateful to be here with you guys. So grateful for you guys to show up here. Um, literally, I come here because you're here. And for you, I show up. And just as a reminder, anything you want to hear about, anything that, uh, that, that's a, a topic that's going on in your world, something that you'd like me to address, something that would serve you, please let me know. So there's some amazing people out in the world. And inviting them into our world, like uh, just about everybody I saw on the list this morning, these are people who are in our lives who are, uh, contribute to us in so many ways. And that's also really my why too, right? It's just being able to be connected to amazing people who uh, live a life of gratitude, who are in the same struggle. It's we're all uh, existential beings living a human existence and we're all doing the work. We talk about gratitude on a regular basis. I'm grateful for the work that I do, if for no other reason than the opportunity to contribute on a regular basis. If for no other reason than my job is to be here for when people say, I got a thing I need and I'm not quite sure how to get it. And here's the super secret thing, is if I could get away with it, I'd give it away for free. I'd give it away for free. And I, and I frankly, I do give a lot of it away for free. Mostly just because I love the work and I love the opportunity to contribute to others and I feel so blessed to be surrounded by people who contribute so much to me. We are all living in community. We're all being contributed to by the people around us. We're, and, and the more we allow people in and the more we allow them to stand up and stand shoulder to shoulder together in building community, in bu building lives, into raising kids, into understanding who we are in the world, the more this world gets better. Look forward to seeing you guys soon. Take care. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.